Hey everybody, Abby here. I am here to do monthly favorites. I don't think I did one last month, but I did do my 2010 favorites. So I do have a bunch of stuff that I wanted to mention. Some older products that I still am in love with that I wanted to just highlight again in this video because I'm still using them a lot. Um, first, non-makeup products. Um, you guys know that I got the three-step system from Clinique for Christmas. But the moisturizer really wasn't working for me. I was having issues with it. Um, so I went back to using the dual treatment moisture, uh, moisturizer, oil free. Um, they compare it to clean and clear dual extra moisturizer. And this helps treat and prevent pimples. And this is the up and up brand from Target. Sorry, it's either overexposed or not. Like, or you can't see it, but here it is um I just really love it it keeps my face nice and moisturized and helps prevent breakouts I haven't really gotten rid of my acne but that's another story um what I've also been loving is makes me sad because I can't get it anymore um the summer vanilla and lemon from Bath and Body Works this is the body spray but I just love the scent in general but they discontinued it and I didn't know about it so I couldn't stock up um, so I am very sad that this is gone, but I love this scent. I can hardly ever find a scent that I can stick to at Bath and Body, um, and when I lose it, I get a little distraught over it. <laughs> so that is a favorite. Um, I have two nail polishes, the one I haven't had for too long this month, but it's already quickly becoming a favorite, so I had to mention it here because I have worn it for like every manicure since I've gotten it. Um, and it is the Teenage Dream by OPI from the Katy Perry collection. It is the, um, like, ballerie, like, light pink with the silver shimmers and holograph in it. Um, it just is gorgeous. And I love the formula. It's beautiful. And then another polished formula that I love, and I love this color, which is Zoya. And this is Zoya Pasha. Um, it is just a, like nude or like taupe with a silver sheen to it great color and I love Zoya formula for their products um now on to brushes I've really been loving some brushes since I've gotten them um haven't been using them the entire month but love 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 the first is the angled blush brush that I got from Walmart it is awesome I love it so soft it just is great for applying blush and I love it next is the um, MAC 109 I just love it for contouring I didn't contour today but I just love it for contouring and for applying highlight and then the last brush is the MAC 224 the blending eye brush perfect just like it says the blending of eyeshadow it is just perfect and I haven't had a brush like this for so long I just love it then on to face products um, this has been a favorite for of mine for a very long time but I figure that it needed another shout out <laughs> um, this is the sheer MB face primer I love it. I'm almost out of this one, but I have a backup. Um, it is just great. It glides, my makeup glides on fantastically after I put this on, and it's just great. And a foundation that I've really been loving, never thought that I would, but it is the Revlon Photo Ready Foundation. Um, and I am in number two, Vanilla. This just has great coverage like Revlon Colorstay and it gives a very subtle shimmer and I really love that fact about it um, and I love the pump too disperses product easily and you can get just the right amount I really um, was excited to see new powder from Maybelline um, and this is the fit me powder and I am in number 120 I really love this. Hasn't totally replaced my mineralized skin finish, um, but I really like using this in like 
one day I'll use this, one day I'll use my MSF. But it's just a great finishing powder. And at the price it is, it's like six or seven dollars. That is a steal. And then for concealer, I love the Hard Candy Glamouflage Concealer. I am going to have this for, no lie, the rest of my life because this is gigantic tube. Um, it's 0.71 ounces and you literally need like a teeny tiny bit, like half of a pea size amount to go your whole face. It's just a great product and it's like $8. I love it. Then I have two blush products. Um, the first is the NYX Powder Blush in Mocha. It is just a pretty like rose, deep rose color. Um, and it has no shimmer. Just a really stellar blush. Um, NYX makes really good blush. And this is just a great color. Next, I have to mention it. Um, oh my gosh, and it chipped. Uh, I think I'm going to die. I think I'm going to have a hernia because this is $26 and it just cracked a little bit and a little piece fell off. Um, this is the NARS Desire Blush. The hot pink bright craziness blush but I love, love, love it. Especially when you use it with a dual fiber brush and just apply it softly to the cheek. It is the perfect pink blush and it is the best formula blush I've ever ever used um, a lot of these blushes are on my wish list for my birthday so I hope I get money to get some more and then I've also been loving hold on I will do a full review on motives products but I had to put this in my favorites it is the shape and sculpt duo with the highlighter and the contour color it is just amazing it does a great job for contouring and highlighting and I love it and it's all in one easy place awesome product then on to eye products here we go <laughs> um <laughs> I have been loving Too Faced Shadow Insurance since I got it in my book of or the Too Faced Enchanted Glamour Lamp palette and I have been using this nonstop. I haven't been using anything else. And to go alongside with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance, I always use a color base, if not purely paint pot. I have been using Dangerous Cuvée paint pot from the Champelle collection. It is the frosty silver with purple tones to it. Very shimmery, but I love it. it gives a great color base for a purple look or a smoky eye. Would definitely recommend it to anybody. Then I have a couple eyeliners. I'm um, going to do shadow last because that's what I have always have the most for. Um, I've been really doing a lot of matte looks this month. And to spice it up just a little bit subtly, um, I have been really loving the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Crash. This is just the shimmery plum shade. I use this with the matte looks and it just adds a little like shine and a little splash of purple. It is just great. And then I did a thorough review about this, but I really love the e.l.f. cream eyeliner in black. Really easy to use. I have never been one to really be able to do good looking um, cream eyeliner on my top lash line. And for three bucks, please get this and try it. It's amazing. Um, and then I have two mascaras I want to spotlight have raved about them before and continue to use these. They are my holy grail mascaras. The first is the L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes Mascara in the Bright Shiny Silver Tube. It's just a great volumizing mascara and it's... There's not enough good things that I could say about it really. And then the Rimmel Lash Accelerator. Great lengthening mascara and I really use this on a daily basis anymore because it just transforms my lashes. Um, I don't know about they claim it grows your lashes with prolonged use because I don't pay attention that much. Um, but I've been trying to see if they're if they've grown, but I just 
love this as a whole for a mask. Okay, <laughs> sorry, I'm like out of the picture now. <laughs> um, then now for the eyeshadow products, um, I really love, I will be having a review about these products coming soon, so I don't want to spoil it a lot, but I really love Face Candy Couture um, Loose Shadows, Mineralized Eyeshadows. Um, the tube that I've been loving most is this um, medium toned brown shimmery in maple, and this is like a pink with a duochrome of green, and it's Sweet Innocence. I just really love the formula of these shadows, and they are so wearable for every day. Love, love, love those. Um, then, I love this L'Oreal Hip Duo in Sassy, mainly for, I love this blue color, it's really pretty, but I love it for this like purpley taupe color. It is the greatest color for your crease to do a neutral look, especially if you want to grab a little bit of purple. Awesome. But it is 75% off now at CVS, so I don't know if it's getting discontinued or what, but I'm sad, but I do have a backup. <laughs> Then one of the Mega Metal Shadow from MAC. This is Dalliance. I am wearing it in this look that I'm wearing right now. It's just a normal smoky like green neutral look. <clears throat> but this is such a great lid color. It's beautiful. Very highly shimmered metallic finish. And it is so soft and easy to work with and blend. Such a great purchase. Two MAC eyeshadows that I really love. <coughs> this first one is really sad because it's crumbling to pieces. And it is Ho. <laughs> H-A-U-X. Um, it is just a matte, like, plum, like, cranberry toned color. So pretty to spice up a look um, to deepen some, to deepen your crease out. It's just very, very pretty. And then my must-have crease color deepen out a look, and that is Copper Plate. A matte gray-brown. So pretty. I use it in so many looks now. It is just a staple for me. And I think it is a staple to have in your collection. Um, next, I really love the Too Faced Enchanted Glamourland palette. Um... I think Too Faced makes amazing, amazing eyeshadows. I really have been loving the most their matte eyeshadows, like this cream, this tan right here, um, this like lighter brown. They have stellar eyeshadows. They are just great. <clears throat> I do have a tutorial. Um, using their matte eyeshadows and that is the look that I've been wearing in a lot of my videos a look that I've been wearing a lot this month and I am just so so glad that I bought that palette because I would have never known then on to lip products um, <sighs> sorry I'm like rushing um, I really love this rosy color from Revlon and it is in Temptress it's one of the ones that I won from their Twitter giveaway. It is just a rosy pink. The perfect shade um, for my skin tone pink wise. And I've really been wearing it a lot with the neutral looks just to spice it up a little bit. I also love um, the Fairy Glen from MAC. Nude. Like a, like a deeper nude brown. Um, it's just a great, great shade. Sorry, I'm holding them all up. So you can see them better. But it's just a great shade. And I'm so glad that I bought it. Because this is a staple. Sorry that it's limited edition. So if you guys didn't pick it up. Try to find it like on Makeup Alley or things like that. The next color I'm actually wearing currently on my lips. And I have fell in love with this formula lipstick. And this color is so pretty. This is the Revlon Matte Lipsticks. And this one's Mauve It Over. Just like, I don't even know how to explain this color. 
Like it's like a nude mauve, but it's so freaking pretty. Lasts for so long. It's like a lip stain, but it's not. It's a matte lipstick and it's moisturizing. It doesn't dry out your lips. Like it doesn't look harsh on your lips. Your lips feel great. I just really, really like that formula lipstick. Um, I also love this. Um, the Milani Classy Nude HD Advanced Lip Color. Um, and this is in Classic Nude. Classy Nude. This is so moisturizing. It smells so good. It's like freaking luster fine. Like it looks wet when you wear it. But I love these lip colors. This, and I have another shade of it. I can't wait to use it during the summer because it's so pretty for summer. I just love it. Definitely recommend this to you guys. Then, last but not least, I have been loving the e.l.f. minty lip glosses. They are very sheer, but I love the minty feeling that they have. Um, this one is in Los Angeles. It's just a nice pretty pink color. And they give the right amount of sheen, and I just feel like they leave my lips feeling so nice. Like, I just love it. Minty freshness. Love! So, I hope you guys enjoyed my <laughs> January favorites. Sorry about the sickness going on here. Um, and being a little, ha. <sighs> But <laughs> please remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will talk to everybody soon. Bye, guys.